Bang, bang, you are dead. Wake up, you moron. You got me. Come over here. Sit down. You remember Ivan? No. Guy you saw me talking to. This guy. This guy. Oh, yes. You guys are the little kids. Very funny. What would you say if I told you he was going to rob your cousin? I'd say, what problem has he got with my cousin? Hold on. Hey, 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 gorgeous. No, I can't talk right now. What are you wearing? No, I'm underneath it. Great. Listen, I'll call you back, huh? Sorry. Who was that? Never you mind. Was it Ivan? Ooh, that's funny. You know, for a damn yokel, you're a very funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and for an annoying dick, you're really an annoying dick. Well, it's a real shame then. That I am the guy with the powerful friends, and you are the little punk whose only friends is some fat weasel who drives a fucking cab! So, why is Ivan going to rob my cousin? Because I want you to kill him. What? He's angered Mikhail, Mr. Pauls. Offended him. He thinks he's stealing some paperwork from her mom. You catch him and kill him. Then we say it was just a robbery that failed. What if I say I don't want to be your hitman? <laughs> then Mr. Faustin will be very angry with you. And your cousin. Hmm. Okay. I knew we would understand each other once I put it in this simple way. Now, go wait for him by the car depot. Hey, gorgeous. Yeah, where were we? Okay, now listen. Let's talk about tonight. Their money in a vacation home in the Philippines where young boys speak in lists and don't wear pants. Michael Graves says he supports family values, but his wife is a
Starting to sweat. Shit. I haven't got time for this. Shit. You trying to rob my cousin? Vlad the bomb is set me up. Vlad don't like you no more, man. There's nothing in this town. Don't do this for him. I thought everyone in this country was fat and slow. There ain't nowhere left for you to run.